All right, here we go, guys. And we're at the 2023 Stewart and St. Petersburg's boat shows. They were held about a week apart uh, down in sunny Florida. And we're gonna look at 25 foot center council offerings today from Parker, Sea Hunt, Sea Pro, Robalo, and Blackfin. Prices range low end, 133,000 for that Parker. 199.9, so almost 200k for that black fin. You'll see the difference in quality between lower price boats and the higher price boats. And if you're new to the channel, we like to do quick hits here. We spend two to five minutes walking through each boat. You tell me which you would pick and why. I'll offer my thoughts at the end, which I would pick and why. Hope you enjoy the video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, twin F-150s on a Parker 2500 SC, 133, 231. Let's, uh, let's leave our stuff down. Let's take our shoes off. Let's step inside. And again, uh, very <laughs> utilitarian boats, but you do get a nice big live well here. Boom. Big kill box here. Very nice. Flip up bench seat here. Your poor Bill Jackson's plastic uh, hinges, not uh, you know, not the bow spilt. Uh, tuna door here. This is a three-piece hull. You can lean up into it and put your feet under and fish. That's nice. Second live well here. Flip up bolster seats here. You got your Yamaha. I don't know if these are digital or mechanical controls here. Single Garmin screen, cup holder on the port side of the steering wheel, one on the starboard side, Garmin VHF. Again, 133000 for a 25. That's a three-piece haul. Very basic layout up here. You do get a windlass. Um, you know, another little pet peeve. Cushions that you have to lift up to get to the, the storage underneath. They are plastic. Uh, you know, it is what it is. No index storage on this. So some of the other brands on the 25 foot range are going to be a little more expensive. You do get a lot more storage than this. Very basic head layout, small porta potty, not gel coated, wiring mostly exposed. Uh, yeah, not going to sugar coat it. It is what it is, but it is a three piece hull. And if you don't care about amenities, if you don't care about plastic hinges. 25 footer twin engines 133 grand uh two live wells plenty of seats for everybody it is not the worst deal on earth it's a electronics box up here yeah not really finished there is some exposed wiring up there it's on tension hinges though that's nice all right let's move on all right, perhaps the most popular 25 in the U.S., 140K, Sea Hunt, 25. What do we got? Twin 150s, I would presume. There we are, twin 150s. Nice deep V in the back. Let's take our shoes off and step on board. Leave our camera bag down, too. There you see the, the one gripe I have about Sea Hunt's that pathetic bilge access under that uh, seat with a little leg on it that you kick up, one on each side. You got a big live well here in the corner. You do have bilge access back here, so apologies. There is a little more access. There's a nice cutting board here. Big kill box here. It's huge. That is on a, on a strut. Another live well here, nicely done. One, two, three, four. Rod holders here, four more on top. Got a couple of kingfish rod holders on each side. You do have a fiberglass hard top for that price. Flip up bolster seats, twin garments, five year warranty on the Yamahas, couple cup holders right there. Got some room for your feet there, second foot pad there. And you got a slight or fold down bar there for your feet. Got an actuator up there that opens the window. This is glass. It's nice. No electronics box here. Looks like there is room for one. Garmin radio. Yeah, there's your anchor locker up there. This sun pad comes out. You do have storage under both sides here. You have another big kill box over here. If I put a trolling motor on, the battery would go under there. 
Well, let's look at the head, and we'll give other people an opportunity. Yeah, look at that. Nice head here, full head, not a porta potty. Little C deck for when you step down. There's your boarding ladder. Your battery switches are right here. Access to your electronics here. Little net here, you can put stuff in. Nicely finished. Gel coated too. Might have bought for the money for a 25. Look at C Pro is 150, and this just looks and feels like a better fit and finish boat. All right. All right, the C Pro 259, boat show price 159482. Big boat. Feels big. Twin 200s. We've looked at these at every show. I'm going to see what this costs last year. I'll hopefully pop it right up in the description, give you guys an idea if it went up, down, about the same. I think it went up. I think it was maybe 10 grand less last year, but this is me just guessing. Got a bench seat that folds up here, a cup holder there, little bait prep area here, big live well here, goes across, another cup holder here. You got a little storage area here for lines, or, or you can put some, uh, again, cold bait in there. Two kill boxes on each side. Get your bilge access here. Oh, I don't like that. Batteries do not belong in the bilge. Otherwise, a clean bilge. Come on, C-Pro. Put the batteries somewhere else. Nice integrated ruler here. Slide-out cooler. Little tackle area. Put your knives and hooks in here. World's smallest. Plano boxes go in here. Four rod holders here. Four across the top, two kingfish rod holders. Flip up bolster seats. Twin digital throttles, a cup holder. There's a, a leg rest here. There's a couple more here. One Simrad screen, Suzuki gauges. Very basic layout. Hard plastic, I thought this was rubber. Not soft. There is a compass, though. You don't see that a lot. This is cool. Little area with a with a plug port, one ten volt. You can put uh, keys, wallets, cell phones in there. Little electronics box too. Interesting. Curious why they wouldn't just have made it bigger. If there's storage on this side, comes all the way here. Huh. Light switches here. I do love the forward part of this boat because this piece comes out and if it does come out, you get unfettered access to the bow of the boat. You can handle your anchor. You can fight a fish around the boat. These are pretty well recessed in. Um, nicely finished in here and actually pretty big. Another storage spot right there. Let's see if there is any. This does not look like it opens. That's okay. Let's take a look at the head, which is on the other side. There you go. Nice sink, a mirror, toilet, little area you could throw uh, some small stuff. Not bad. And that's how you access your electronics. Presumably, that's they're rushing to get this one here, and that will be glassed in at some point. I hope so. All right. Big 25, but I'm not sure how crazy I am about the price. There is a side entry door, too. I forgot that. Two-piece design, but a big boat. Big 25. And look at this, a new model from Robalo. At least I'm not aware of this model. Maybe I'm wrong. But an R250, a 25-footer. They always had the 242. Right away, I see a side entry door. I see a live well on a, on a tension hinge windshield we're gonna try to step inside and check this one out nice carolina flare you can get under here if it's raining really nice let's see if we can step inside all right it is a new model we just checked with the representative 155 twin 150s 
take our shoes off and jump on. I'll leave my camera bag down here too. Don't know why I need to say that every time. You do not care if I have them on or off. It's a little integrated boarding ladder. That's a nice touch. You got one, two, three, four, five, six rod holders back here where there's usually wasted space. Like we said, twin 150s. There is a little bit of access to the bilge there. This looks like a big kill box. How does it open? I don't know how it opens. Maybe it's not a kill box. Might not be. Oh, there's a hinge there. Oh, this might be just part of the, the overall design of the boat, but flip up bench seat here. Pretty deep live well, 30 ish gallons, I would guess. Two kill boxes on the floor. Got your cooler here, little bar here to keep it in place. One and two rod holders, four more on top. Remember, you got six in the back. Really nice dashboard here. Flip up bolster seats here for when you're driving. Digital controls for your Yamahas. This one has two Garmin screens. Full windshield. Like that sea hunt, we saw a little actuator there that uh, that opens up. If it's hot out, glove box up here with your radio, not a glove box, electronics box. Really high gunnels. These are coming up to my thighs. And your basic 25 foot center council layout up here. Wrap around seating. Um, let's see. How does this open? It just, no idea how, oh, there it is. There's a little spring latch here and it opens forward. That's neat. I like that. Huh. That solves the problem of having to remove the cushions. Got a little tiny seat here. You have a forward entry. It's on this side. Forward entry to the head area. And you know, not gel coated, but that's okay. Little head there. Access to your electronics there. There's a table that can go in the front. All right. Well done, Robalo, entering. I always like neat touches like this, too. I was just going to say, well done, Robalo, entering the 25-foot space. Spot for your fire extinguisher that's out of the way. There's a hidden cup holder, too, for those sitting down. Porthole here. Which it opens up, gives some vent, some ventilation for people using the head. Nicely done. All right. Let's move on. All right, we're on the Blackfin 252, 199, nine, uh, twin 200s, recessed boarding ladder, that's nice. This uh, C deck material when you walk in feels good on your foot, like this. Four rod holders in the back, integrated ruler, uh, easy to walk around if you want to uh, wash the engines at the dock. Tuna door here. This has got to be, when you walk in, there's a flip-up seat in the back. I am presuming this is going to be, yeah, look at this bilge access, 2,000-gallon-per-hour uh, rule pump. They got the gulper, the whale gulper there. Um, I'm sure that's for the fish boxes. That will never break. It comes out slower, one on each side. That. To me, that's somebody who knows what they're doing. They're not just putting in a macerator pump that will die after a year. There's your bronze through hull transducer. Really nice down here, really nice. And it's on a, a friction hinge here. Close it up. Two big boxes on the side. Nice little tackle area. You put your scissors, your knives, your pliers, hooks, more, more here. Drawers, you can put some sinkers. Some Plano tackle boxes, four rod holders here. You got those in the back too, four more on top. Nice hard top, blue gel color, flip up bolster seats. Two cup holders here, one Garmin screen. Oh, little sports steering wheel, digital throttles. Lenko trim tabs. Got a, on a tension hinge, an electronics box, nicely finished too. Fish box here, forward seating here, big anchor locker up there, forward entry, 
door here opens nice and easy. You got a full head, access to your electronics back there, gel coated in here. This is for a table, I'm sure. Really nice. I feel like maybe, maybe this is cheaper than it would have been other years. I don't think I've ever looked at the 252, so I have nothing to compare it to. But very well thought out, nicely finished bowed. This is not the original Blackfin molds, um, but still a really nice boat. We didn't see what this is. I'm presuming it's a big live well, which it is. 30-ish gallons, I would guess. All right, 199.9. All right, and we're back, and I hope you enjoyed that the overview of those boats. And I, like I said in the beginning, which would I pick and why? I would probably go with that Sea Hunt. It was priced near the bottom. It was finished nicely. Uh, big, beamy, twin engines. Like they all had twin engines. But value proposition, that's what I would go with. In a perfect world, I would take that Parker, put the deep V on it, keep that simple layout, but clean it up a little, make it a little better fit and finish, Offer it somewhere between that Blackfin and that Sea Hunt, and I would buy that. Uh, let me know what you guys think, which would you pick and why. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.